that. Screw you, homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. Welcome back to Are You the Asshole? This is not our second time recording this episode. <laughs> No. It is our first. Very first time. Um, as you can see, it's Halloween. I'm joined yeah. by my awesome co-hosts and friends. We have Fred Durst and uh, Giants fan um, in 2024. What did you call me the first time? I was like Eli Manning post-retirement <laughs> yeah, post-retirement or something. Post-retirement Eli. I'm so freaked out. I literally just looked at my mic back just to be like yeah. 100%. Let me check again. Yeah, we're going. Guys, my mic's off. I'm kidding. That would be okay. hilarious. But we did the whole show and then realized somehow both cameras, which aren't synced anyway, they're rolling at different times and... They both shut off. One, one's one got remote battery, one's got outlet, and for some reason they both just quit. It was odd. It, it really <laughs> was... <laughs> it was kind of like eerie a little bit. But yeah. anyway... Very fitting. We'll kick this one off. Um, if you watched last week, you know I'm doing the theme of asshole, not asshole, AI, not AI. You guys know that this one is not AI now. Um, sure. Since it was uh, ruined by our awesome camera. But it's bug themed. Can't dismiss it. Am I the asshole for dressing like a cockroach during Halloween? <laughs> Before I start, I want to apologize for the bad formatting. Yes, I am on mobile. Thank you. <laughs> This is not a very important post. I have bigger issues in life, but this is one where I think I may need judgment of the interweb strangers. I am so happy someone finally acknowledged that in these stories. Uh, I really like bugs and always have. They're very cool, very interesting to me, and honestly are often more reliable than humans. That's crazy. If you had not just found this, I would have guessed it was AI. I think you have some deep-seated issues. Yeah, for the record, we had to find brand new stories, and I don't yeah. think any of us have proofread our stories, so we're just <laughs> blind. blind today. Uh, last year for Halloween, I went as a brood X cicada. Nerve. Nice. Uh, in parentheses, I am 16 as of currently. I still enjoy Halloween from an artistic perspective, as well as the overall vibe of the holiday. Same. Same. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I imagine that it would be too. I imagine that it wouldn't be too much of an issue, especially considering the fact I'm not going for a hyper-realistic or particularly scary cockroach. I was simply planning on making a paper mache helmet and using the cicada wings I made last year, and dressing in brown. However, my parents are not particularly <laughs> thrilled. My dad, especially. Uh, he claims that it's too weird to go as. The costume idea is not scandalous or questionable at all. If anyone has any doubts, I can send a picture of the idea. I need to see it. Picture it didn't happen. kind of need to see it. Right. Um, when my little cousin, 10 months, came over by himself. <laughs> he drove, actually. It's a Billy from Saw on the tricycle. <laughs> Just slowly. Uh, I was in my room preparing the costume. When I opened the door, I was wearing a cardboard bowl-shaped thing. The helmet is paper mache, so I could see, go see in the mirror. My dad, my sister, nine years old, um, and cousin. I like that it says, my dad, sister, nine female, like it didn't already clarify that it's her sister. Right. Um, see me. My dad quickly rushed over and told me that I will not show the costume to any of the cousins, uncles, aunts, he and he seemed a bit angry. When he gets mad, his eyes tends to bulge out of his head a little and makes this face. This was somewhat present in this situation. It's a guy from Beetlejuice. He's like one of those pins you squeeze. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I sort of feel bad. In my mind, it's either A, I'm too old to be dressing up for Halloween, or B, there's something wrong with, there's something wrong or inappropriate with being a cockroach that I don't understand. I don't think it was related to my school grades or anything either. As of currently, I'm completely on top of everything and even a little ahead. He could very well be in the wrong here, though, but I think I need another perspective, hence why I came to Reddit. I think asshole is a strong word. It's more so a matter of who is being irrational or unfair. Am I the asshole? Uh, so it's asking the asshole for the guy who made the costume. Yeah, is he an asshole for dressing up as a cockroach? No, because yeah. it's such a... It's Halloween. You're... The, I can't remember whose story it was now. Whatever got cut, I, it was mine. Wow. Way to go, Josh. Well, the one where the dad was, uh, well, I want to dress like this. I don't want to be 
the whole synopsis, Guy wanted dress up as Batman instead of a Barbie, which his whole family was doing. And his take on it was, it's too, uh, I don't want my them to too see. Too girly. Yeah. It's kind of like, I feel like that dad's kind of like, I don't want my family to meet weird child dressing. I'm like, so I think the dad is in the wrong there, making the guy not the asshole. Uh, that's what Reddit said. Mm. Um, I've got nothing much to say. It's kind of funny that you, like, <laughs> you're very self-aware. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I know I'm weird, guys. I like bugs. Uh, but. <laughs> Can I dress up as one? <laughs> but oh, am God. I not weird, maybe? <laughs> am I not? He's like, guys, am I kind of cool? Uh, well, that'll do it for my story. Definitely not an asshole. The yeah. dad is an asshole. Yes. 100%. <laughs> Sorry. Please. <laughs> Way to go. Edit future, Josh. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, Who's Josh. Got... I'll take it, I guess. Kay. It don't matter. That gets two big booms. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Gentlemen. Go ahead. Uh huh. The, uh, okay. So, am I the asshole for not letting my son go trick or treating? No. Oh, <laughs> <Start. laughs> screw you, son. And again, like all these stories, we didn't proofread it. I think that'd be a good topic also for another day. Everyone find a headline you like and just don't read this. Oh. I will be totally transparent. The first three weeks we did this, that's what I did. Are you serious? <laughs> I, all right. Am I uh, the asshole for not letting my son go trick-or-treating? Uh, I am not from the U.S. Would love some insight from people originally from here. We're Americans. Perfect. Right. You got us. We've just moved to the U.S. this year, and it's my son's first year in school here. All of our first, and this is all of our first Halloween celebrations. My son is in third grade and has been excited to celebrate Halloween. I bought him a costume, and we decorated the house and drew on pumpkins. I thought this was enough for him to feel like he participated in the Halloween tradition. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize trick-or-treating was so widespread and thought he'd realize it was a tradition for some families, but not ours since we don't eat much candy. It is raining here, and it's a school night, etc. Uh, plus, I'm not very keen on him approaching the neighbors we haven't met and running around the neighborhood after dark, even if I am with him. Uh, I told him tonight was not a good night, but I go to the I would go to the store, and he could pick candy uh, where he wanted. He is hysterical. I have not seen him this upset in a long time. He went to school and discussed this with his friends, and five different moms called and offered to take him. Mm. I didn't want him eating a lot of candy and being exhausted tomorrow, so I said thanks, but no thanks. And they were all very surprised and asked several times, oh no, is he sick or something, or did he get into trouble? As though it was unthinkable he wouldn't even go trick-or-treating. He says all his friends are going, but I cannot tell if it's the same as all my friends have the new Nintendo or all my friends stay awake till midnight. So American parents, which none of us are, uh, am I the asshole? I've got to make a decision in the next couple of hours. Ooh. Whoa. This was updated five years ago. Oh. So, as, oh, we're a little late. Yeah, yeah. It's a tiny bit. Um. Open the floor, guys. Did it say where they're from? Like, yeah. how foreign of a topic is this for them? It does not divulge i'm currently looking into comments to see if they updated and said but no i mean you've got i guess if you're gonna get it wrong the first year in is the yeah. year to get it wrong you know next year sure hopefully that kid is prospering in candy well and, Halloween. and like i think the thing that the dad said that was very fair is like uh you could see them being scared being in a new place not wanting to go 100 percent, and just like wander around and wander up to like random strangers i get yeah. that well it's like you're going with them and i know they said even after dark i think it depends on where you live if it's like a subdivision that's kind of fine but i get if it's a little bit of a rough part of town yeah here's here's the one thing i didn't understand is that the parents got the child a costume that, yeah, that's, like, that's, that's what costumes that's are kind of like for. It's incentivizing. Right? I, yeah, that's, that's me fair. Is really costumes are like totally for trick or treating only, right? And when you're older, like parties, I guess, or in our case, podcasts. Um, but when you're like when you're like eight years old, it's like, yes, I'm going trick or treating in this costume. Yeah. So it's kind of like you set your you set your kid up to be pissed off. Basically. That's fair. The uh, two comments here 
Uh, you're the asshole, take him trick-or-treating. It's a childhood tradition here. It's snowing where we are, and guess what? We are still trick-or-treating tonight. He will likely be the only kid who doesn't get to go. You don't have to be out for the whole time. At least go for a minimal half an, half an hour. In our house, it is unthinkable to honestly not go. Halloween is just as important as any other holiday here in the United States. Uh, last one, you're the asshole... Take your kid trick or treating. You bought him a costume, got him hyped for the holiday, and took away the best part of it. Come on, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's and fair. I always, as a kid, there was one year my dad. It was pouring rain. Oh yeah, it was pouring rain like two years ago too. And, well, I was like probably seven or eight, but it was pouring rain, and we would run up to the house and then get back in the car, and run up to the house and get back in the car. Get soaked. And it was like to avoid the 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 uh the walk of shame to the next house up the sidewalk we would just get in and out of the car <laughs> and like i've never had a halloween that was like perfect fall like yeah you think of a movie like i've never had a halloween where the weather's been good i maybe had like two that i re- that i can like recall mm-hmm. but yeah you definitely like set your kid up to be upset with you so like you can't be too that's fair i i can see both cases because like he said uh, well, I, I could be wrong, but he said he didn't understand how culturally significant yeah. trick or treating is for children. He thought it was like how some families like will let kids have presents the day before Christmas Eve. Like that's not yeah. a tradition, but some families yeah. do, some families don't. I think we bring back an old rating. I think he's an unchin, unchin, unintentional. That's what I was looking for. UA. Unintentional asshole. Maybe Good old UA. UA. <laughs> unchin. The unchin. I got a hunchin about this unchin. That Sorry. That sounds crazy. <laughs> anyway. That sounds bad. I, well, I agree with you guys 100% asshole. UA. That. <laughs> UA. UA. I, I think it's more unintentional ass. I feel like you've got to know what you're doing. Especially, well, hang on. Can we, can we shift the rating IA? Ignorant asshole? Okay, that's fair. That's, yeah. It's like I have no idea am I being, a, like, am yeah. I being mean. I just, we never got an update. I just hope that whenever the comments came in that he was the asshole, that he be- caved. He locked in. He's yeah. like, all right, get in the car, son. We're going but, trick-or-treating. But Dad, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's already November. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> He's just making his son walk to the bottom of their driveway and walk back up to the front door and knock and ring the doorbell. Hey, he wanted to do it. <laughs> and Move. Just over and over. Oh, that's so perfect. So funny. All right, Nick. Uh. Close this out, man. Let's go. And we're back. So, I got a story for you guys. Am I the asshole Mm -hmm. for indirecting... (laughs) What is up with you today? It's like the second... Fred Durst isn't very good at reading, guys. I'm sorry. (laughs) It's just one of those days. (laughs) You do the course this. You're slowly, like, morphing more and more. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. (laughs) Sorry. Sorry. Um... It's the demons, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Durst demons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Am I the asshole for indirectly telling children to <laughs> off on Halloween? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you okay? <with> that? <laughs> EMO, please, before making assumptions. My long distance boyfriend. I'm female, obviously. Okay, homophobe. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, hang on. What did we, like, we didn't even get enough information for there to be an obviously. <laughs> yeah. My boyfriend. <laughs> oh, pl- uh, please read this. Um, obviously, I'm a girl. Dude, get out of here. This Asshole. Is, right? this is Asshole. Go- this is going places. Asshole. This is going places. Get out of my face right? with that. Screw you, homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> yeah, I found the new cold open. Okay, continue. (laughs) Was over at my house over the past weekend through yesterday. We had planned to center our time together around Halloween. As we've been doing things together the whole night, we decided to not let trick-or-treaters knock on the door, nor did we put out a bowl of candy. It was my boyfriend's idea to put a piece of paper on the front door reading, Keep Out, which... (laughs) Later evolved to stay away, <laughs> and ultimately we decided on <laughs> fuck off. Oh. Spelled out. Was this like a developed thing? Like, were they like, 
All right, uh, keep out. Not gonna knock trick or treat. Okay, maybe it would just be a little bit more. Yeah, that that's, that's, that sounded like how they're doing it. Okay. All our lights and porch lights would be off, so no one would see it. Anyways, okay. it's just good to know that it's there. Mm -hmm. Around eight thirty or so, while we were watching a disgusting yet sensual film, we heard a loud banging on the door. I took my time to put on a bathrobe, but heard something like, "You better get down here." and some more banging, so I rushed out. A woman on the younger side of old. What does that mean? <laughs> right? It's like a double on time. It's like, you're like, kind of wrinkly, but still youthful. <laughs> you're 48. <laughs> like... Yeah, the younger side of old. I get it, no, I get that. <laughs> this is Jordan and his girlfriend. I get that, this is me. Honestly, this is something I would do. That's fair. Go out in a bathrobe <laughs> and everything. Um, you better, and more banging, so I rushed out. A woman on the younger side of old, dressed in that one T-Rex costume. I'm guessing it's the inflatable oh, one. Oh, inflatable one. Those are funny. <laughs> Was standing there with a flashlight and three or five kids behind her. Before proceeding to tear me to pieces, she yelled at the kids to stay back because I w apparently wasn't dressed. Indecent. I had a bathrobe. <laughs> This stranger scolded me for luring kids to my house only to teach them a word they shouldn't know. Luring? I was weirded out by this and even more confused when she asked for candy. Oh, I would definitely be like... I'd be like, hey. How about a double chunk chocolate cookie? How about a double chunk chocolate you? Sorry. Oh, boy. Um, so... Uh, sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> I'm so good at that. Cut. Cut. All right, <laughs> edit, edit, edit. How funny would it be we all cut and like 30 people came up, like the makeup people, like, all right, guys, you got it. George like, all right, guys, back to one. Jordan, do your line about the uh, ooh thing. Double chomp chocolate <laughs> cookie. And you're like, ah, can we do one more of those? Thank you. Another cut, another cut. <laughs> Here we go. It's just not working. They stuck in a different guy <laughs> in a unicorn costume. It's Jordan. It's just his girlfriend, but hey, guys, Jordan's back. He's CGI. Double tongue chocolate cookie. <laughs> He's like actually CGI this whole thing. Like we do cut and like a guy in a green screen suit just for Sorry. Right. Pulls it's, out a cigarette. Thanks, guys. The morph suit's back. Hey, Dave, you really bushed that line, man. You gotta come yeah. on. The cigarette bit's good. Okay. I was very weirded out by this, even more confused. I said, we didn't have any, and she said, good. She then stood at my door for several seconds without saying anything, so I asked her to leave with her grandkids, after which she told me she was waiting for me to remove the hateful sign at my door. She also corrected me, saying that they were her kids. Sorry, you're old. So I walked out onto the porch, That's such took the piece sorry. of paper off the door, <laughs> threw it away in the trash can two feet away, and planned to shut the door. But That's, they were still there. That is such a good dish, but take it with your grandkids. Oh, really? <laughs> I just, that's kind of good. I asked why, and she said, still waiting for candy. <laughs> the, the nerve, bro. <laughs> the nerve. So I just slammed the door. Everything that day had gone all wrong and had been trampled on and just on and lost and thrown away. Got to the hallway, well on the way to my love in bed, but before I got to my room, <laughs> who talks like yo, that? Yeah, what are you? This isn't. This is AI. You took my bit. Yeah, my dearest maiden, <laughs> wait for me on the top of the tower. Princess. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? What are we in a bathroom? What, what are we, princess? I'm underway. Oh, my princess is what are we down the foot in hallway, butt booty foot in native. Don't go anywhere, kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I told those kids. <laughs> off. I'll be white back. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, he told me to keep my bathrobe on because the old woman was apparently walking around our house. He saw her through a window. That's where you get the shotgun. I don't know what happened after, but the whole thing was creepy. Am I the asshole or is this woman ridiculous? Nobody carries a flashlight to a house that obviously doesn't have candy. Yeah. Top comment. Okay. FYI, having a boyfriend doesn't automatically make you female, obviously. Okay, I was gonna obviously. say. Yeah. I like how someone caught that. Thank you, obviously. Um, I will say, is that the end? 
Yes. That's okay. where it stops. So, like, there was no... You have to ask the question at the end. So, am I the ass... You have to do Yeah, that. that's what I'm okay. saying. So, am I the asshole? No, not you. That's oh. not on you. That's it's on the them. person that wrote it. Um, no. You're not the asshole. <laughs> yeah, I can't. At all. The universal sign of stay away from my house... Lights off. Porch lights off. Yes. Garage lights off. Yes. I think... And the comments are kind of saying this as well. The only way you could kind of see this as them being an asshole is, first off, the first very first line of the whole thing. The whole, I'm a girl, by the way. Yeah. But for putting a sign, say off, where kids could see it on the one night of the year when anyone with half a brain cell would at least, one kid would ignore the light being off and come up to the door. I get like, okay, I think it's a pretty... Tough. I think that's pretty blunt. Kind of like, yeah. all right. Like when they say like we started with keep out, then stay away. It's like Just even then, like stay away well, sounds so, yeah, a little so rude. Did it did it escalate for the reason of people were ignoring it? it because say then it. then I understand it. I'll give you if that. If it's the yeah. scenario where it's like, hey, we're not giving candy out. <laughs> Dude, I feel like if you're gonna turn the lights off and everything. Because it is the the one unspoken rule about Halloween. Yes. Like, you're not handing out candy, do that. I would, I think, like I said, the sign's too much, I think. If it's like, you can argue, like, maybe, like, if you, you know this is the holiday where kids are going to roam the street more than anything, I feel like in that case, then you have to be a little, like, all right, let's word it nicely. Yeah. And do stuff like that. That's where I kind of have to go with, like, I get the point of it, but I'm going to go with not the asshole just because... One, it's not your, you don't have to give out candy at Halloween. You kind of did the normal things, plus the lady stocking your house is bananas. Yeah, it yeah. infinitely outweighs. You could have done anything, and then you're outweighed in terms of asshole by the, the old woman. She could have doubled down and said uh, slur after being homophobic at the beginning. And it still probably would have been worse than the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. But. Just yeah, I'm gonna go not the asshole as well. Yeah, no, not the asshole. Um, maybe try to be a little less homophobic, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, that was so weird. That that it's didn't so add any way. value to the That's story at all. Why did, why did we point that out? It doesn't make any sense. By the way, I am a girl. By the way, by the way. Yeah. And it may be trolling. It could be trolling. Just like trying to be like, how can I? Rage yeah. baiting. Yeah, just rage, take a jab. Rage bait, rage bait Reddit is crazy. Oh my, it's insane. They literally craft the most perfect sentences in terms of trying to anger people. It's It's almost a science. So, you know, that brings us to the end of the show. Time to do Asshole of the Week. Asshole of the Week. For, 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 guys, it's actually the first time. Basically. Um, definitely not the umpteenth time. Yeah. Um, anyways. <laughs> um, I've got to go with your story. You yeah. Brought, you brought some heat today. Even though... They weren't the asshole. There was a big asshole in the story. That lady that was reason, hilarious. For that reason, you get asshole of the week. Thank you. Mine's saying I love crazy people, especially lady. When she got to the point, she's getting in the house. So asshole of the week, I'm um, going to have to go with Nick. 